what up so one of the things i do is growth consulting for small startups um so basically help them grow in general right and um, one of my clients has a SaaS product um which is the software as a service so he offers the software that people can buy on a monthly basis however long they want to use that software for and then if they don't feel like they want to use it anymore they just cancel the subscription um and right now mostly pretty much all i do is run facebook ads um because i know how to run facebook ads but um as we've gotten as i dig a bit more into the actual product and the actual target um audience and who uses the product and the actual problem it solves, um, I realized that probably just running Facebook ads doesn't deliver the best results because um, it's a very, as a SaaS product, you have a very niche audience, like a very small target audience. Like it's not like a sweater or a t-shirt that you can offer to pretty much any person in a certain you know, age group or whatever, but it's a very, very small market of the people who, who are eligible to use the product. And so the easy way, route I could go is just continue running Facebook ads and you know get them leads on the website and drive traffic to the website. And obviously some of them will convert. Um, or I could go the hard way and actually figure out, okay, how can we you know figure out how to build out a bit more complex marketing strategies. So I can really drive the best results to him as possible. And so what I spend most of my day to day on was, um, and it's now 1 p.m., is building out a strategy um, that I'm gonna pitch to him on what I think we can do better that goes beyond Facebook ads um, to actually you know, find the right customers and retain them, um, which would, for example, include um, leverage in LinkedIn and, and either running LinkedIn ads or um, running LinkedIn automation to prospect the right leads um, and then send automated messages kind of like an email drip campaign then an email drip campaign because we have loads of emails but we don't send emails out um, so I think like figuring out like a follow-up email or an email campaign um, would help a lot with like retaining customers and actually getting them from the trial to the paid product because we offer a f free trial that people can try out um what else did I write down um that would include content marketing so um creating actual content around the the problems that our like target audience has um for example writing blog posts which improves website seo to drive organic traffic um and which can kind of like work as lead magnets um so yeah that's it, it's just for me like a big learning of because it's the first SaaS product that i'm marketing um and so for me it's a, like completely new market and it's a completely new marketing strategy and approach that you need um and you have to rethink a lot of the things that you do differently if you're marketing you know if you're just trying to grow an instagram account or if you have a B2C like um, um, business where you have a bigger and broader target audience. Um, but yeah, just wanted to, you know, let you guys know about what I spend like a lot of time on. And it was actually fascinating for me because I learned so much about a new market that I didn't know much about until now. I just got off my first life coaching call because um, I don't know if any of you guys know Tony Robbins, but he's like a massive, you know, life coach, I guess. Um, I used to watch his like videos and stuff like maybe two years back and I freaking loved it. And just recently I checked him out again and I saw that on his website, you can actually book a free 45 minutes life coaching call, obviously with the intention to, you know, sell your life coaching. But I was like, mm, you know, let me just try it out. So I booked one. And especially it was interesting to me because before you do that free coaching call, they have you do some homework. And that homework includes kind of, I guess, like a personality test where you kind of, you know, talk about like a personality test, you know, where they fucking find out what kind of person you are and what your strengths and weaknesses are. 
um, but then the other part is um, creating a document where you talk about your goals and why you want to achieve those goals and you know and f I, I'm not a person I'm not a person who writes down goals um, so for me that exercise was just interesting because I had to think about like hmm if I had to set three goals which I want to achieve in the next 12 months like what would that three goals be and I came up with three things. The first thing is to get to a point where I'm making $50,000 per month. The second goal is getting a US visa. And the th third goal was creating a accountability and support network for go-getters in New York City. Um, I kind of came up with those things on the spot. Um, but obviously on the call, he digged into my goals and he obviously figured out that the number 50,000 was just an arbitrary number and that it's a number that I can easily reach if I go after it but I just have to be more specific with why 50,000 and how am I gonna get there you know um, and we kind of talked about the whole um, why I'm so interested in building a support and, and um, accountability network for go-getters in New York City why New York City specifically and it just helped with I guess making me think a bit more about my whys and my reasoning and even setting these goals was an exercise that um, helped me figure out better what I want um, so I think even though I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna get a life coach at this point because they're also fucking expensive even though not expensive as I thought like you're paying 5200 so five thousand two hundred dollars for twelve months of coaching, which is like below five hundred dollars per month, which is really not a lot. And you're getting three sessions per month. Um, still, probably won't get it. But I do think that if you get a good life coach, um, the whole concept makes sense and it works because you have not only do you have a person who you know helps you define gold just by you know digging deeper and asking the right questions knowing the right questions to answer and then having someone that keeps you accountable and and you know that you feel like you want to show that you are on track with reaching those goals because if you don't have anyone you know being accountable for and you just set these goals for yourself and you keep them secret in a notebook well if you don't achieve them it's just like whatever you know you can just find or you can just find a reason why you didn't why you didn't reach it so yeah just got out of that was interesting yeah you can you can book one too if you want to just you know experience it just you know I don't even know where to find it just go to Tony Robbins dot com or whatever and then you can find somewhere a free coaching call it's fun it's actually fun and it makes you think you know Also, it's autumn. Look at it. Isn't it look beautiful? I like autumn. The only thing I don't like is that it's dark in the morning again. <laughs> I like waking up to light. And when I woke up today at 7 a.m., it was fucking dark. And it was dark for another one hour. That sucks. I like light. I like light, you know? Like is kind of cute. Uh, isn't it crazy how good we are at judging ourselves for um, doing things in the moment and then afterwards realizing that um, it wasn't actually that bad or at least I'm very good at that so I'm editing the vlog from yesterday and I know I remember yesterday when I filmed the last part I was like holy shit this is so bad why am I, am I even filming that no one will want to watch it and even though I'm probably right on the fact that no one will want to watch it now that I'm listening it to myself I think like it might not be interesting in the fact that in the sense that it's like entertaining or someone will like or it's funny or anything in that way but I think it's a very good insight in how my brain works and and what I was focusing on and what I think what I was thinking about and that's what I want to do with this vlog right I, I, I don't want it to fucking entertain you guys like maybe sometimes but um I'm most of the time I'm not funny by the way so it's really just about like documenting and you know showing where my mind is at like i want this to be a diary that in five years i can go back to this and literally see like 
what the fuck was I thinking about at that time? Where the fuck was my mind at at that point? What were the things that I was struggling with? You know, it's it's either it's just going to be cool for me to have like this diary or it's going to be cool for some more people if, you know, if it plays out the way I think it plays out. But yeah, this is just a quick reminder that most of, and I'm doing it fucking again. I'm just thinking right now while I film this, I'm like, why am I filming this? Like, I, you know, like no one wants to watch it. And then tomorrow I'm going to think like, this is like, it's not, you know, it's, 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 it does what it's supposed to do. It, it documents my headspace at a given time, you know. So yeah, don't judge yourself so much. I mean, it just, it just takes away from whatever you're actually doing. It just doesn't add anything, the judgment. Remember that, Finn. I'm saying that to you and to myself. Remember? Okay, cool, not judging myself. Okay, yeah. Actually, now that I think about it more, I'm not sure actually if that is healthy or unhealthy because I am aware that it's very unhealthy to judge yourself if that's the only thing you're doing because it's just unproductive. But if you are judging yourself and then are also able, while you review it, to realize that there's no reason to judge yourself because it's actually not that bad as you made it out in your head without you needing anyone to tell you Hey Finn, by the way, that wasn't as bad as you think it is. And you're able to have that self-talk with you. It might be like a quality control mechanism, right? Because you're constantly you're constantly um, iterating on what you're actually doing. So I'm not sure if I should... Well, though you don't need the negative aspect of it, I guess. You can be... There is a difference between criticizing yourself and judging yourself. Now we figured it out, actually. Yeah, you shouldn't judge yourself, but you should criticize yourself constantly. You know, be your own biggest judge. <laughs> we just, we just, we just kind of proved. We we went through the you know process of proving a saying that we all know. It makes sense now that I think about it. Actually, I'm really excited to use this vlog in like five or ten years to laugh at myself. You know, I can just watch these and just like, ah, kiddo, 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 you stupid. That's gonna be so much fun. Hard to wake up when there's no alarm to wake you up. Sitting, breathing, doing all the things I hate. But why not? Holy shit, I just wanna